Charlesetta, Miss Charlesetta. I don't even really have words um, except to say, please don't go. Please. <laughs> please. Um, I have been honored um, and blessed to have gotten to know you and to have spent time with you and seen you grow. Um, I am truly sorry to see you go. You've been doing a great job as a casework technician, and I only wish that we had gotten you into that position sooner. But um, I know that you are looking forward to sitting on your deck, listening to the birds sing, drinking tea, and watching the sun come up and watching the sun go down. And truthfully, I know I can't compete with that. So um, I respect you. I appreciate all your hard work, and you really have made a wonderful uh, difference in this unit and in the lives of our, our clients. So thank you. Hi, Charles Edda. We've known each other for several years and it's been a pleasure working with you. You have done a lot of uh, great things since you've been here and you've been a real asset to me. So I'm going to, going to miss you. But change comes to all of us. I'm not too far behind you. So I wish you just a great, great retirement. Hey, Charlesetta, this is Tracy. And though we haven't had a long time to work with each other, I'm just going to bid you a bon voyage and a congratulations on your retirement. And I know that this new chapter in your life is going to be adventurous. So have fun for all of us. Congratulations again. Charles, there's no word. I don't. I have no words um, put together. Nothing formal put together. or Anything like that. You know what it is. Um, I pray that you have a prosperous future. You're still young, so just go out and enjoy and do you. I know you are. I will definitely miss you. You're like a mom to me here, and um, I'll never forget the, the times we spent together up and down. Um, and good luck to you. And I pray we keep in touch. Love you. Charlesetta, I'm going to miss that big smile and that cheerful hello that you give every morning when you come in the door. You bring the sunshine down the hallway with you. People are drawn to you because you have such a giving heart and you go the extra mile. You enjoy looking out for others and doing it behind the scenes and not drawing attention to yourself. So when I grow up, I want to be just like you. In your retirement, I wish you lots of travel time, lots of cow gone take me away time, get that spa day in, girl. And I just pray you have a blessed retirement. You deserve it. Hi, it's Charlesetta. You know, it's your girl, Veronica. And you know what? I'm going to miss you a lot. Um, I wish you the best in your retirement. And I do want you to keep in touch with me um, as much as possible. We can still go out to lunch and do whatever, you know, have a girl's evening and all of that good stuff. So also let me know when you're doing some more home improvements. You know we've had many um, times sharing good thoughts about all of your home improvement ideas and I would love to continue to hear more. Have a good one, um, enjoy retirement, and live life to the fullest. Hey Charzetta, I just want to take a moment to wish you a very happy retirement. Going to miss you here. Going to miss um, doing casework with you and sharing ideas. But I know you have big plans to do lots of travel. And let me know when you become a glam ma, because I know you don't want to be a grandma. Congratulations to you and best wishes. Charlesetta, you can't leave me. Who am I going to call if I need help with the spreadsheet? <laughs> oh, girl, you're going to have so much fun being retired. I tried it for a little while, but then my husband left, so here I am at VR. I really enjoyed meeting you, and I hope to see you again sometime in this world, if not the next. Uh, God bless to you, and don't forget to ask for your senior citizen discount. Tricetta, I want to wish you the best on your retirement. Enjoy yourself. Sit back and relax. I'm going to miss your positive attitude up at the front desk. Again, congratulations. Hi, 
Hi, Charles Soto. I just wanted to give you a little poem that I um, found that sort of summed up retirement. It says, there's quite an art to falling apart as years go by. And life doesn't begin at 40. That's a big fat lie. My hair get, getting thinner. My body is not. My, the few teeth I have are beginning to rot. The smell of Vicks Vapor Rub, not Chanel number no. five. My new pacemaker all that keep, is all that keeps me alive. When asked of my past, there's detail I'll know. But when I ask about 10 minutes ago, I have no idea. When you get the idea that, uh, what more can I say? I'm off to read the obituary today, <laughs> like every other day. And my name, if my name is there, I'll once again start perfecting the art of falling apart. Uh, <laughs> Charles said, I wish you the best of luck in your retirement. I hope you have a great time. Um, hopefully you're going to be traveling. So uh, I hope you have a great time on your travels. And like I said, I wish you the best of luck. You'll be missed. And... Happy retirement! <laughs>
But seriously, we do wish you a wonderful retirement with many wor worthwhile projects and many excellent adventures. And as the saying goes, may the road rise to meet you and may the wind be at your back. Congratulations on your retirement, and in helping you celebrate, I'd like to give you some ABCs of some of the physical ailments that you have to look forward to. A is for arthritis, B is for bad back, C is for chest pains, perhaps cardiac, D is for dental decay and decline, E is for eyesight, can't read that top line, F is for fissures and fluid retention, G is for gas, which I'd rather not mention. H, high blood pressure, I'd rather have low, I for incisions with scars you can show. J is for joints that now fail to flex, L for libido, what happened to sex? K, I forgot all about K, K is for my knees that crack when they're bent, please forgive me, my memory ain't worth a cent. M for neurosis, pinched nerves and stiff neck, O is for osteo, all the bones that crack. P for prescriptions, you'll have quite a few. Give her another pill, you'll be as good as new. Q is for queasiness, fatal or flu. R is for reflux, one meal turns into two. S is for sleepless nights, counting your fears. T for tinnitus, you'll hear bells in your ears. U is for urinary difficulties with flow. V is for vertigo, that's dizzy, you know. W is worry, now what's going round. X is for x-ray, what might be found. Y is for another year I've left behind. Z is for zest that you still have your mark. Miss Chalceta, now I don't know what to say. Now I'm sitting here in front of this camera thinking about how lovely you are and how much I'm going to miss you. And one of the biggest things I want to say, I am your special child. You call me that all the time. And I will always be your special child, but you are my special mama. I hope that makes you feel good. You are a great lady, a great, great person to work with. And you have been wonderful. Even though I've only been here about four years, you have been wonderful. So, and I know you'll be great wherever you keep on going. So, and I'll always be happy that you um, told me I had gray hair. <laughs> I love you, lady. Keep up the good work. Hey, Miss Charles Etta, congratulations on your retirement. I know your calling extends beyond VR, so I know you'll continue to stay busy and engaged. So um, I'm glad you're getting a little break. None of the rest of us getting none, so you better be doing it for us. Thank you so much for all you've done. You've been a pleasure to work with and a blessing to VR. Take care.